Hello everyone, Alexander Flores here. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how you can have your users change their email using AWS Cognito. In the last video, we went over how to allow your users to change their password, and we're going to be using a lot of the same code. So a link to the previous video and every other AWS Cognito video I've made will be in the description. So here we're in our settings file, and this is going to contain all of our other settings. If we go to our simple website here, we see that the change password setting is right here. We're gonna go ahead and essentially copy that and create a change email right below it. So we're going to make a new file, change, call this uh, change email. And then we're going to copy everything inside change password into our change email file. Then we're gonna to go to our settings file and we're gonna import change email. We can go ahead and render this right below change password. And then going back to change email, we can change a few things here. For example, this button could say change email. And we also want to change this stuff instead of having two passwords. We want to just simply have an email address as well as the current password. So we'll leave the current password the same. And then here we're gonna go ahead and enter in our email and then set new email, or rather set email. We can also get rid of this user change password right here. We'll use a different function when the time comes. And just to keep things consistent, I'm actually gonna move the email to be above the password here, as well as right here on these inputs. I'm gonna go ahead and save all of these files and then we're gonna see what our application looks like. Oh, I just realized that I made a mistake here. We want to use email and set email. Go ahead and save these and this should work. So now we see a change email right here. The first one is the email, the second one is the password. One thing we have to import is the Cognito user attribute from the Amazon Cognito Identity JS library. So we can go ahead and do that. So now in order to update our email, we essentially simply have to update our Cognito attributes. This is also how you would update other attributes such as custom attributes you might set to your user. So once we've assumed that we're logged in correctly here, we can go ahead and go into our callback. And then right here, similar to how we changed our password, this is where we're going to be actually changing our email. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new Cognito attribute. So we're gonna create an array called attributes Inside of here, we're gonna say new cognito attribute, and this takes in an object. There's two required properties here. One is the name and one is the value. So the name will be email, and the value will be whatever the new email is. However, we have to be careful here because we have an email here that's being used in state, but we also have the current email that's being passed back. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on email here and press F2 in Visual Studio Code and name this new email. And then to keep this consistent, I'm going to name this set new email. And so now here under value, we can say new email, and we know for sure that it's talking about the one in our input field instead of their current one. That current one is being passed back just in case a user does need to authenticate. We're going to do that automatically, and so everything should be fine there. So now that we have an attributes array, we can go ahead and update the attributes. And we do that with user.update attributes. And we're going to pass in two things. The first one is the attributes array, and the second one is going to be a callback. This is simply just going to have error and results. And we're simply just going to console log these. So if there's an error, console.error, error, and then console.log results. So we can go ahead and save this and we'll try it out. Oh, I made a mistake. It's not cognito attribute, it's cognito user attribute. So let's go ahead and fix that. We save this, we should be good to go. So now we have the change email. As you saw before, our current email is simply test at test.com. Now we're going to name it test at testing.com and we're going to go ahead and enter our current password, which is simply password one with an exclamation point. If we try and change our email, it says on success. Now, if I log out and then I refresh, and if I try and log in using the old email, which was test at test.com and use the old password or the, still the same password. If we log in, we see that there's incorrect username or password. However, if we change this to testing.com and we log in, we see that we're now logged in, and if we refresh, we're then going to see our settings again. So we've successfully changed our email, and if you were to log into the AWS dashboard, you would see that update as well. So that's it for this video.
just a quick tutorial on how to change your user's email. This is mostly going to be useful inside of a settings dashboard, for example. More videos on AWS Cognito as well as the code for this video will be found in the description. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.